Hi. Uh, it's still Guanel. Now I will be doing a confidence interval for two population means or for a difference between two population means uh, for a z distribution. Uh, let's look at 2.2. The management of a restaurant wants to determine whether a new advertising campaign has increased its mean daily income. A summary of the results are shown below. Sample size, before campaign, and after campaign. Now, sample size, before campaign, 50, after campaign, 30. Sample mean, for before campaign 1255 after campaign 1330 population standard deviation before campaign 215 after campaign 238 now the question is find a 90 percent confidence interval for the difference uh, in mean daily incomes before and after advertising campaign eh? the confidence interval for the difference in mean daily income before and after the advertising campaign now I will summarize the data and one which is before campaign. After campaign. Sample number one, before campaign. Symbol size is 50. And 2 is the symbol size 2, which is 30 after can be 30. Symbol mean 1, x power 1 which is equal to 1,255 1,255 x bar 2 is equal to 1,330 Population standard division, which is sigma, sigma one is equal to two hundred and fifteen, sigma two is equal to two hundred and thirty eight. then alpha find a 90% confidence interval so if we are 90% confident means that uh, there is 10% probability of being wrong so our alpha is equal to 0 comma 1 which is 10% then the confidence level But 1 minus alpha which is equal to 0 comma 9 or 90 percent 
our symbol size number one is 50 and the symbol size number two is equal to 30 and sigma is known sigma is known therefore we calculate z so z is equal to 0 0,9 which is that 90 percent divided by 2 is equal to 0 0,45 and then go to the standard normal distribution table and look for 0 0,45 in the middle of those numbers uh, there's the first 0 0,45 and then go straight that way 1,6 and then go up to 0 0,05 which means our z value is equal to 1,65 so 1,65 then the confidence interval is equal to x bar 1 minus x bar 2 uh, plus minus z alpha over 2 times the standard error sigma 1 squared over n1 plus sigma 2 squared over n2 which is equal to our x bar 1 it's 1255 minus x bar 2 which is 1330 plus minus z z is 1,65 times the standard error square root sigma 1 squared Sigma 1 is 215 squared over N1, which is 50, plus Sigma 2 squared. Sigma 2 is 238 squared over N2, which is 30. Now we calculate the difference. 1255 minus 1330. The difference is minus 75 plus minus. And then calculate the margin of error calculate the margin of error all this array which is 1 comma 65 times the standard error to 15 squared over 50 plus 238 squared over 30 is equal to the standard error is 87 comma 507 507 in this stage now we have a we have two signs a plus and a minus we will start by subtracting the margin of error which is 87,507 from minus or from negative 75 so negative 75 minus 87,507 minus 75 minus 87,507 which is equal to negative 
so this is a difference between two population means and then we add negative 75 with 87 comma 507 so negative 75 plus 87 comma 507 which gives us 12,50. So in our final answers we have a negative and a positive which means there is no difference. So we can conclude by saying it can be said with 90% confidence that there is no difference between mean daily incomes before and after advertising campaign which means mu1 is equal to mu2.